Ableton packs are extremely useful because it's essentially a file type where you compress your entire Ableton session into a compressed file and people can essentially double click on that pack and it uncompresses that file and spills out your whole session. So of course you wanna know how to do this the right way. The first thing that you wanna do is go to file and collect all and save. And the reason why is because even though this is a fairly simple looking session, you could imagine I'd have many stems of drums and guitars and maybe samples I'm used that I'm using from other external hard drives. And I wanna make sure that all of that is included in this session so someone doesn't open it up and find things are missing. I'm gonna hit okay. It's gonna make sure everything's in place. Then we go to file and manage files. And this is gonna open up the file management window and you could do a bunch of stuff in this window. It's actually very useful. It kind of goes under the hood of your session, but I'm gonna to go to manage project. And what this is gonna do is scan the session and then have these drop down menus where you can actually see all the files under the hood of your session. So even stuff that you might have thought were deleted and totally gone are actually gonna be found in this area here. You can see unused files, external files. When you click on this and it drops down, it should say all of the files used by this project are contained within it. If it doesn't say that, then you forgot to go over here and do collect all and save. And you don't want missing files when someone unpacks this on their end, right? Right? Then you just go to create pack and what it's going to ask you to do is save it somewhere and you don't want to save it essentially, you know, inside or it won't allow you to save it inside the uh, same folder structure of this uh, Ableton set. So you're going to save it outside that, save it on your desktop, on another hard drive, just somewhere else on your computer. And then that should be it. You can do whatever you want with that Ableton pack, send it to whoever you need to send it to or just archive it for later. And I hope this answered your question. If you found this useful, hit the like button and feel free to subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.